Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So let us visualize the tarsal tunnel, how exactly it looks like under ultrasound. So in order to visualize the tarsal tunnel, the patient is lying down in the lateral position with the medial side up. And again here, I always say that you palpate the bony things and that really helps you a lot in, uh, you know, keeping your probe exactly in the position where you are looking for, right? So here, what you need to do is you need to palpate uh, this bumpy thing, which is here, right? Now, this bumpy thing on the medial side is the medial malleolus. Now, this medial malleolus also has got an anterior colliculus, posterior colliculus and intercollicular area. So what you are supposed to do, if this hole is your medial malleolus, right? Now, you are supposed to orient your probe in such a manner that the aspect marker, you have to keep it. You just palpate this bony thing with one finger and you just keep the uh, probe, uh, you know, in the short axis with the aspect marker lying exactly on this bony uh, point, right? So this hole is the bony one we are just going to keep it on the posterior aspect and the moment you are going to do so you will be seeing the structures very nicely so let us see that so again i'm using a frequency of 20 megahertz here and a linear probe so this is your medial malleolus hole of it now this is the posterior portion of it i am just putting one finger there and then I'm keeping the probe in the short axis with the aspect marker just over it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll just try to angulate my probe in such a manner, you know, that I'm able to see all the tendons lying very nicely. So first, I'm going to make use of an isotropy. As you can see, the tendons are the ones they exhibit maximum an isotropy. So initially, when you're keeping the probe and you are not sure which tendon you are looking at. Always make sure make use of the anisotropy that will surely be helping you to identify the tendons very nicely. Now, what you are supposed to see here, this one which you are seeing, that is your tibialis posterior, right? Uh, now, uh, this uh, there are uh, various mnemonics for it. You have a Tom, Dick, Harry for it. But what I usually say that you remember there is one tendon which will be going for your great toe, right? And then you will be having the tendons for the digit, right? So that becomes the digitorum and this becomes the holosis. And since this is the medial side, so medial side is the flexor side. So medial side, you have your flexor digitorum, right? You have your flexor holosis longus. Now you have two kinds of tibialis. One is the anterior, which is a component of the anterior angle. And then you have the tibialis posterior, which is a component of your uh, medial angle, right? So here you have the tibialis posterior. Now it, you have one tendon, right? This one is the flexor digitorum. Then you have this tibial nerve, right? And then do remember this FHL will be having just a bit of the muscle belly along with it. So do not confuse this and this. Always remember if you are just taking it, you know, uh, I should say when you're looking at this section, do remember that FHL will be lying at one end, right? And then you have your tibial nerve and then you have the vessels. So you have the flexor retinaculum, which will be just forming the roof of it. Fine. So again, if you look for the tendons, we have three tendons. We have tibialis posterior, we have F F flexor digitorum, and then we have FHL. Now, what are the two uh, vessels which we will be able to see? One will be the posterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial vein. Now, you're not able to see the vein because the compression uh, which I have applied was sufficient to compress them. So we'll be just seeing them again with a very light pressure uh, with my probe. So these are the two vessels which you will be seeing in this compartment. And then you will be able to see one nerve and that nerve will be tibial nerve. So if you again, we will revise. So this is tibialis posterior. That is your flexor digitorum. That is your artery. This is your nerve and this is your F. HL, that is your flexor retinaculum. Fine. 
So just let's have a look again and we will be seeing the vessels now. So now I have just released the compression and now you can see the veins. So again, I will apply the compression and you will see that the veins, they have got collapsed and the artery stays the same. So that finishes the demonstration of the tarsal tunnel. I hope you enjoyed this video and do subscribe for such interesting videos. Thank you so much.